Hey you guys. Hope I got this desktop audio stuff. Hopefully I got this all worked out. Hopefully it's working itself out. Hey you guys, what's going on? Good morning. So I'm going to do something a little different today. I've gotten, uh, I always get a lot of emails and the other day, yesterday, as a matter of fact, um, <laughs> Karma, you better go find that laptop charger. And by the way, get a second one, okay? Get a spare. Order a spare today. Can you guys hear me okay? I'm over here. I'm not a pro at this new system yet, but I'm working on it. So I get a lot of emails and I don't have the time, but I do reply to 99.9% .9 of them. And sometimes it takes me a few days, a week or two to reply if you send me a long one. But at some point I do get back to you. And uh, <laughs> I printed a few off today that I want to read out loud to you guys. And maybe it will, and you can read the description of the video. If you don't know how to look at that, you can go try to find it after the session today. Every video has a description, and inside that description, there's links to things, there's uh, information. And so I decided, you know, when I set up the feed, I'm going to type in a little something, something in the description box. And then I'm also going to do what? What's he doing over there? What's he looking like over there? Why is he messing with you? Are you just interrupting me right now? Oh, gosh, man. Okay, so let's go ahead and start reading before my client gets here because he might get here a little early. We're going to do the Zukon. A Bishan Shih Tzu? Uh, I, can't, I don't know. I don't know. They, 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 they we're calling these dogs all different kind of riffraff stuff. So, Not that I don't care, but it's either Zishan, Zukon, Bishan, Shih Tzu, Shibo. I, I mean, they, they're calling these dogs all kinds of things. We'll go ahead and do her live on uh, the channel, but I'm going to read some really cool stuff that I've heard, and maybe the inspiration uh, is will come to you from these emails in whatever inspiration you need. And what I mean by that is just because I'm grooming here doesn't mean that I'm only at a groomer's capacity. So you are talking to somebody that is a business owner and who is a real estate agent and who runs a YouTube channel and has a supply store and an online store, and a, can I keep going? As somebody who's been in the military, traveled the world, travels now, you know. So hopefully some of these things that people have written to me will maybe um, enlighten you in its own way. Because sometimes things just happen. Do you believe in that? They, things just happen because they happen? I believe they do. There's a reason for everything, right? Even that hardship that you're going through, there's a reason for it, I promise you. And you'll come out of it twofold stronger, is what I believe. So uh, let's start with the first one. So this was from Sue, and Sue and I actually have a pretty good relationship. She he does email me uh, quite often. And this one I'm gonna read out, and I've talked to her on the phone, and she has ordered supplies from me. And the reason why I wanna read what she has to write is because she's older than me. And so it's really hard for you as a person in general to listen to somebody younger than you right so what I love is sometimes when people share their experiences and they're older than me and I look up to them because I know that's they have more wisdom than I do right but we all bring something to the plate every single person brings something to the plate okay I just challenge you to not be hateful in doing certain things within yourself and your in your career, in your life. I challenge that. Everybody, and not be so judgmental about people, including myself, because you don't, you're not here, you know what I mean? All right, so Sue says, hey, Miss Dee, this is Sue from Tennessee. She goes, AKA Tennessee Granny. I got my new ball tip shears and bath nozzle today and just wanted to tell you, I have never in my 52 years of grooming, okay, had such a wonderful bath nozzle. And I told her, I wrote, I said, I wrote her back, right? And I said, you know, it took me over six or seven, uh, three years, three years, I think it took me to find the right hose and the right bath nozzle. 
So if you're watching my videos and you're a groomer and you're or you're gonna start grooming or you're grooming your own dogs or whatever, these little things that I've already spent, yeah, you might spend a couple dollars higher to buy something with me, but you know that I'm using it and you know I've demoed it and you know I've already went through the struggle of spending some stupid money on these things that don't work. I have a, an accumulation of a lot of muz nozzles that don't work. And I remember, uh, and that's why the other day I said, yesterday I said, my nozzle works in the hot water. That's a key. I didn't know that. I, do, I bought the, you know, different nozzles and they wouldn't function for very long because in hoses too, I had one hose just totally start leaking the whole thing. I was like, oh snap, if, if it's hot water or warm water, it ain't gonna work. <laughs> So I, whether it's a shear, a clipper, a groom loop, whatever, I have found the, the best that I feel like is on the market for the situation that we're, we're doing, okay? Whether it's an aggressive dog you're grooming or your own dog you're grooming or, you know what I mean? So it just depends on what. So my point is in her email, I'm telling her, I know I've spent years finding this nozzle and I bought them out, you know what I mean? Okay. So let me keep going. Just as simple as a nozzle, not using your hand to hold down. I would. I worked at a veterinarian clinic, and they had a really long one, big one, big fat one. It was flat. I always had to hold it together, and it was probably a five hundred dollar nozzle. I mean, it was a freaking huge one. It was like a kitchen one. Is swing it back and connect it, and I was like, this is huge, and I never had rest. See this? If I'm doing this for twenty minutes, bathing and rinsing the dog takes longer than bathing the dog you know, lathering the dog, rinsing takes so long as you want to get all that residue out. And I was holding the, I'm, I'm just using a fist now and I'm not even doing any water, you know what I'm saying? So it is really hard on your hands and you don't start to recognize these things until you've been in the business like seven, eight years and you're like, boy, my back is hurting, you know, or boy, my arm is hurting. And these little things make up you, your physical, what you can go through and what you can't go through, how long your hand's gonna last you, okay? One of the things that I saw on a YouTube comment was a gentleman who said, it was a really sad day when I had to peel the scissors out of my wife's hands. And that was the last day she could groom. And I, I recognize that as I can feel it. Sometimes when I have that really bad hand day, I could feel where he could have had to, like your hand just not moving. And so if you're, if you're older and you get arthritis, you know very well, you've got to, You've got your hand here. You've got to peel back your fingers to get them out, right? Imagine your husband, someone that loves you, peeling those scissors out of your hands. So I love watching these Korean groomers on YouTube, but I tell you what, you can see their hand. Look at their hand when they're, she's doing these scissors and the angle of her, uh, her wrist. I really want to reach out and help her, and I did. I, I, emailed, I wrote a, a message on her, uh, one of the lady uh, channel, and I think that you have to be, you know, you want to do what you want to do, but you also want to be able to save your, your physical because you're not going to get it back once you wear and tear it. You can have surgery, but I don't ever think it's ever going to be the same. Now, let me finish this email. Okay, so she says, 52 years of grooming had such a wonderful bath nozzle. I just love it. Haven't used my shears yet, but I will get the chance Wednesday. And no, I will love them too. Also, I told you about retiring, so she retired. So... I hope it's okay, Sue, that I tell a little bit about your story. So on a phone call, Sue and I talked, and she's ordered quite a few things from our company, slowly. She's let me know that the back story is she let me know, smash the like button, folks, but she let me know her husband had passed away. And in losing her husband, you know, she was, I shall tell you here in an email herself what she was doing. And when she lost her husband, it took her breath away. You know, it took everything away. She just stopped grooming and stopped everything. And so you'll see and hear kind of where she's at and where she came from. But always keep in mind, especially when you talk to someone with more grooming experience, not better or worse. I'm talking about time. So she's been grooming 52 years. You just have a little honor in that and a little wisdom to be learned in uh, what she says. Okay, so let me keep going. That's the little backstory that I know. So she says this, I told you about retiring and going back to doing a few here at my home. 
I had kind of gotten a groomer slump when I ran across your videos and want you to know you have given me the kick in the butt I needed to enjoy it again. Watching someone that knows what they are doing and at the same time taking the dog's welfare to heart has done me good. I've gotten so aggravated at the grooming shop horror stories around here. One, remember, she's in Tennessee, right? One of them being PetSmart, which I have gotten several clients from because they wouldn't go back. Some I have gotten out of it. Some never will. But they are better. Again, I admire you with so many irons in the fire and still manage to get her done. When I retired at 60, I was running two groom shops and running a boarding kennel, plus transportation, transporting puppies to a shop in Detroit, Michigan once a month, a 1,300 mile round trip, okay? Notice today, your wrist, yeah, the, this video, so this was May 13th, your, your wrist was hurting and just don't overdo it. So I talk about that all the time, right? If your body is telling you something, and I told Yvonne that, if your body is telling you something, listen to it, okay? Don't overdo it. She's, she, at, she says, at 68, so at 68 years old, she's telling me in my 40s, Dee Dee, don't overdo it. And I'm telling you in your 20s, in your teenage years, in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, whatever you're at, don't overdo it. And, it, and take that across the board, not just grooming. Take that across the board. Sitting all day at your desk, don't overdo it. Your body can't handle sitting down for 10 hours a day. Don't overdo it. Stand up. You know what I mean? Take that where you need to, but it's her wisdom, and I'm respecting her wisdom. I'm sharing it with you, and I also believe in that, okay? I talk about it a lot, you know? And some groomers will say, I remember it uh, in, where is it? Our first show, Pasadena, and we were showing the dog upstand how it can help assist the dog stand up, right? And we had a booth. And these old school groomers, man, they walk by. She said, they, I have them tell me right there, I got my hand. This one lady was like, I got my husband. Okay, I've talked to a lot of husbands, and let me tell you, they might not think of the same thing you do if you've got your husband working with you. Just because you have a husband doesn't mean that you should wear him out, right? So I just look back and go, you can't teach new tricks to everybody, but some of you guys who realize your hand is not going to outlive you, then you will wake up. At 68, I feel so fortunate to be able to still groom, even though I had to slow down. She only does two or three a, a week. You are my inspiration right now. That keeps me going. Keep up the good work. Have a wonderful week. Tennessee Granny. So Tennessee Granny, if you're out there, really appreciate your email, letting me share your story and tell a little bit about you and what you're doing, what you're doing. And at 68 years old, still kicking it. You know what I mean? So thank you for that. And I, uh, losing your husband, the love of your life. I'm really sorry that that happened. Uh, but you're here with us today, and I hope to have this friendship just blossom over the years to come. If you need something, holler out, okay? All right, um, Angela, thank you. All right, it looks like we got some something, something up there. I can't see, but thank you so much. Okay, Sue, Sue's out there. Did you hear my story, Sue? Sue, you got anything to say, go ahead and type it in there. All right, this is from Karen S., and uh, she says, oh, did you guys remember when Karen made me? I, okay, you know, in early on, I mean, years ago, I've done some videos on golden retrievers. And I love golden retrievers, right? But I have yet to get one. And I did rescue, oh gosh, can you imagine? I had uh, fostered a golden retriever with a golden retriever rescue about 14 years ago. And it was aggressive. And I had two small dogs, Suey and Duke, and I can't believe, I was like, I can't have this golden retriever killing one of my dogs. And so I told the rescue group how it was food aggressive and this and that, this and that. And they took the dog back and I, I am 100% sure they had him put down. So I can tell you right now, in some rescue groups, if the dog is aggressive, they're not gonna chance it. But it really broke my heart because I really loved golden retrievers, right? And I still do, but the lifespan of the most golden retrievers I groom is not very, very long. And it would be devastating to me because I've had to say goodbye to so many groom golden retrievers. And so she, Karen, made me a golden retriever cup mug. And I have it over here hidden, or it's on display, but I have it so I, no one uses it. <laughs> Do 
shoot, I guess I could try to see if my copy fits in here. Would that be cool or what? Yeah, it fits in there. Oh, yeah. I guess I could be using it on a daily, right? Look at my, look at this. She made this for me. She said, oh, she said, Dee Dee, she sent me this. This is so cool. She handmade this for me. I'm going to start using it right now. Ah! I'm a goof, man. Okay, let's look at the golden retriever here. Yeah, I could be using that, right, David? Yeah, look how beautiful. I have it in a glass place so I can look at it and it doesn't get dirty or nothing. But right now, I'm going to start using it, girl. So it took me a long time. And, uh, you know, fan mail doesn't necessarily mean that you have to reply. I, I don't think so. I watch other people's YouTube channels, people that have got millions of subscribers, and they don't reply to you guys, okay? They don't write letters back. But I grew up in a time where we had pen pals. Do you remember that when you were going to school and they're like, anybody want a Japanese pen pal? I was like, yeah. And I don't know where those pen pals are now, but it sure taught me to write some letters, okay? And so when I get something from you guys, I really try to give something back. And because I, I don't take you for granted, and I think that that is key. But when I get to a million subscribers, I can't guarantee I'll have the time to do that. That's where you guess like Selena's. She hired, you know, someone to man her fan mail. I don't know that I'll do that either. I mean, you just don't want someone to come and just that story. Go watch Selena's. Uh, I, I watched that when I was like in my 20s, that movie. Selena's the uh, singer. So here's Karen. I did send her some stuff myself. It took a while, but I did send her a thank you. And she wrote me back yesterday, I think, 21st. Sorry, I didn't contact you sooner. Lots of stuff going on, and I've been very sick. Still trying to get better, she says. You are so sweet to have sent me that turtle. I think I sent her a turtle magnet from Hawaii. It has a place of honor on the fridge. My dad, who has passed, loved turtles, and we have a lot of them here at the farm. So that gift meant a lot to me. Man, I didn't know a simple turtle magnet it went really far. Thank you also for the mask. I sent her a mask. I think everyone should have a face mask, okay? Thank you also. Go order one at myfavoritegroomer.com. Go get a face mask. Even Mary, Gra Mary Graves walked in today and she, w she was sick. I was going to tell her, get a face mask. If you're sick, wear a face mask. If you're doing something really dirty, which we always do, rake leaves is one of them, wear a face mask. Get a face mask, okay? Anyways, she said, thank you also for the mask. Great timing for it, too, by the way, because she got sick, right? Hee <laughs> hee. I hope you're doing well, and I'm loving your videos. I don't do much emailing since it literally hurts, but I did have to say thank you for being so kind and generous. Hugs and happy tail wags. Karen, thank you for my golden retriever. This one is not going anywhere, so I'm safe there. Golden Retrievers, man, I've had to say goodbye to some really great Golden Retrievers, and it just broke my heart, Annie being one of them. Oh, goodness. Okay, so Sandra writes in, and Selena was an amazing performer. I know, I still amazing. So Sandra M. says, Hi, Dee Dee, found you on YouTube a couple weeks ago. Just wanted to say how sweet and formative you are to the owners, those of us who watch as well as to their dogs. Thanks for sharing your expertise and genuine love. The world needs more professional and beautiful inside and out people like you. So, Sandra, thanks for that power boost. I appreciate that. If you could change the way you do business, and I don't want to say I'm always nice. I always say, David copies me now. I'm being firm, he says. I like to be firm and honest. And there's no hard feelings. When you walk out the door, there's no hard feelings. I'm, I'm not having, I'm not mad at you or hating you. I may be disappointed in something, but I'm not like hating. Does that make sense? It's like, this is matted and this is not okay with me. I don't think that that is a form of hate. I think that's very clear. It sets the stage of letting you know what, what I anticipate, what I expect from this relationship and what I expect the dog to be in condition when that pet comes in. I don't want to cause harm. And this is why, you know, you bring a dog in, you let us cause harm, and then we get upset about it. So that's not okay, right? You have to, you got to take out something. And then one of those things is just your own upkeep of your own animal. Okay. So I think that just like she said, I'm not really always that nice. I don't think, 
I'm glad you think that of me, but I feel like I'm very drill sergeant like. like that's the military in me, but also I like to function like that because it's very clear. You know, it's very I'm not wishy-washy. I don't I don't act like I don't know what I want. I don't act like I don't know what I need. I don't act like I don't know what I am. But just be clear. And you and we're all here to make up the world. So you can be passive. You can be soft-spoken. You can be nice and you can be forgiving and you can do all these things. Just be yourself in it. And it's okay to be a little bit more direct when you are running your own business if you are, okay? All right, let me keep going. So this is Greer C. Hi, Dee Dee. Thanks so, so much for your YouTube videos on grooming. I live in Ohio and recently left my job to pursue self-employment. It's not as lucrative yet. That means income, okay? Everyone, we're not here working for free. No one is. Would you work for free? I hope not. Not unless you volunteered to work for free, okay? It is not as lucrative yet, let me tell you, but I am much happier. I have a tiny older dog, eight pounds, and a full grooming usually costs me. I was gonna say, you want me to take that on YouTube? I have a tiny older dog, eight pounds, and a full grooming usually runs me about 60 every couple months. I thought about to save money and treat him super gently as he gets older. I could do it myself. So I picked up a set of used clippers with guards and did my first home groom on Gizmo, 11 year old. Shih Tzu Brussels Griffon mix, maybe, <laughs> okay? Laugh out loud, he's just Gizmo, okay, exactly. It's a first try for sure. There are many mistakes and he got less tolerant as the time went on. Remember I said you got a three minute window, but no cuts or nicks and you made me feel confident. I could help my baby and he doesn't look terrible. Thank you, Greer. Greer sent me some pictures and I thought, well, that's a really good job. That, that was really good. I don't think you can learn everything you need to learn over a video to groom your own dog. But if you own your own dog, no one's gonna stop you from doing things to your dog, right? No one's gonna come into your kitchen and say, get him off the counter and why'd you nick his, the vein on his toe? No one's gonna say that, right? Cause he's your dog. No one's gonna come into your house and do that to you. But it's, it changes when you start grooming for an income for other people, okay? Cause then I think you need to know a little bit about what you're doing because something could be taken away from you if you injured a, a client's pet, okay? Okay, what are you guys talking about out there? <laughs> Morning, you guys. Okay, we're going on. I'm still waiting. We're, yeah, we're, we're about 15 minutes, I think. I've got some time here. Are you guys having fun? I am. I'm having fun sharing this with you. And if 58 watching, make sure you smash the like button. If you don't know where the like button is, close the chat, and it's right there next to the subscribe button and the bell button. Debbie M. Debbie says, Hi, Dee Dee. I received my package today. Thank you so much for the card and the gifts. I love the earrings. They are beautiful. I sent her some copper earrings made from Diane Geary. I will be wearing them out this weekend to show them off. I am truly addicted to your YouTube channel. You have taught me more than any groomer out there. Now I can't wait to groom the mom of Jigs uh, Elabella, my beautiful girl. I added a picture of my babies first. Is Jigs forever in my heart and Kaylee black and white Max Tan. Max. <laughs> Tan and white. He is an Melixo... Uh, Meloxicam? For, oh, he... Gosh, man, it's medicine. Why do you have to ma name medicine? So hard, right? Malaga. Okay. Let me start over. This is the this is why periods and commas are still useful today. If you don't know how to use them, please. I added a pic of my babies. First is Jigs, forever in my heart, and Kaylee, black and white, Max, tan and white. He is on Melexicam for inflammation of the spine. My poor guy couldn't even walk. Now he walks but stumbles on his right leg now and then. He is 16 years old. Kaylee is 18 this August. Yeah. Ella Bella is black and tan. She loves her blue dog, laugh out loud, always plays with it all the time. She's 13 years old. Thank you so much, Dee Dee, for calling me and the, calling me about the shipping to Canada and sending the gifts and the rainbow bottle filled with a wonderful fragrance. Okay, so this is a story about Debbie. Debbie placed an order in camp from Canada and let me tell you the shipping on her freaking order was like 50 bucks 
And I was like, oh my gosh, my jaw was like, ah! I know shipping is really expensive. And I want to say, I have to go wash this, but she ordered two of these, two of these things, I think. And she had, it was 50 bucks for shipping and she still bought it. And so I got on my dang phone and I paid the long distance call fee, okay? If those of you guys are like, it's all about money. No, it's not about money. It's about running a business, but it's also about being human. So I called her and left a voicemail, and then I emailed her, and then I think she ended up calling me back that day. And we talked on the phone for a while. So we're talking, you know, this is, this is running a business. This is how you should handle running a business. We talked for a while, and I said, girl, I cannot believe you still went through with the order. <laughs> I said, if I'd have seen $50 shipping and handling, I would probably, like, drop my jaw and just deleted that stuff, right? Because that's a lot of money. So I said, hey... I'm going to weigh out everything and I'm going to ship exactly what I can, but at, at the exact dollar. Okay. And I can't say I can always do this for you, but when I saw her order and I saw the shipping, I just, I just was, ugh, I was sick to my stomach. Shipping is really expensive when you go international, you guys. And if you don't know about it, you still have to pay tariffs and the tariffs have gone up. If you haven't realized that with all the news about tariffs. And you might get something in Australia or Germany where you've got to go to the airport and pick it up and pay tariffs at the airport for picking it up. So it's a big deal, okay? You should be aware if you're ordering, but I should be aware to do my best to make sure you're taken care of too. I'm not over here trying to, I'm just not trying to penny pinch those things. So we did. We, mark, we were able to get her shipping down. And I was also able to say, okay, can I just fill it with a few of the products that I think would work? It, it, it has to be a, it's like exactly four ounces or less, that kind of thing. And believe it or not, weigh some ounces, man. I can't believe four ounces adds up quick. So we were able to ship her some stuff, some extra stuff, and give her some shipping back, I believe. That's how it worked out. But I was very aware. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? She went through with the order. Thank you so much, Debbie, for your order. I really appreciate it. I hope I see. I hope in in doing things like that, I have a friend for life. You know, someone that when I go to Canada, they might come out and see me. That that's the feeling I have. Is don't do people wrong if you can't help it, okay? But don't be taken advantage of either, in your personal life or in your work life. And you, as a business owner, have to recognize that too. And it's one of the things as a business owner that you must do is set boundaries and it's really hard to set boundaries when all you know how to do is work hard because I struggle with that but you have to set boundaries because you're affecting your family time you're affecting your personal time setting boundaries means I don't pick up the phone at midnight you know what I mean setting boundaries means that has to wait so make sure you do set the right boundaries within your world what you're doing with your life and your career nobody is going to take care of you like you so do your best in taking care of yourself, okay? All right. Yeah, Didi, I so wanted to order stuff from you, but the shipping was insane. It is insane. Canada is insane. It is just, just north of us. So imagine like, well, it's not, it's actually Canada is one of the worst for shipping for some reason. <sighs> Anyways, uh, you just have to support what you love. And sometimes that love is a little extra. How many people, I, there's been a handful of people that did order, they were in Canada, and they ordered from some local groomer um, online store, and they were not happy, and they sent everything back and ordered from us, and I've heard that at least twice in the, in the last year. So you, in, you do get what you pay for. I do believe in that, okay? Joanna B. says, Dear Dee Dee, I messaged you in the, this is on May 9th, so Joanna, if you're out there, Dear Didi, I messaged you in the latter part of last year. And right now, it's, it's May 2019. She says, I told you how inspirational you were and how I wanted to become a groomer. Well, after being homeless at 56 years of age, I managed to find a home. This is when I came across your YouTube videos. I thought, what the hell? I can only be rejected. That's true. I believe in this, the phrase called, the worst thing you can do is say no. Okay, and I learned that when I was 17 in the military. I had a supervisor tell me, Didi, I said, there's something I really, really want to do, but I just started the job here. You know, I got transferred into Germany, and I said, I really want to do something, and I don't want to ask because I think you're going to say no. 
And that manager said, Dee Dee, the worst thing I can do is say no. If I say no, you're right here where you're at. But if you never ask, I'm never going to know what you were going to ask. And you're never going to know. You're going to believe I said no. So I said, okay, all right, this is what I want. And so I said, I said what I wanted. And he goes, yeah, go ahead. And I was like, what? And so he, he said, you know, Dee Dee, and I was 17, you know, my first, uh, not my first job. Uh, that was probably my 10th job at that time, but my first military station. And he was my ma major supervisor. And he said, yeah, go ahead, take it, you know. And I was like, yeah. And so it made me realize all you have to do is ask. And if the answer is no, so be it. Maybe that's because something else needed to happen. And that's okay. But the answer wasn't no. And I learned then the worst thing that can happen is you're going to say no. You walk into, you know, rent an apartment. Hey, I don't have enough money to do 900 a month. Can you do 850? The worst thing is no. And then you're back on the street anyway. So why not go in and ask? So whatever you need to use that for, use it. <sighs> Don't, ex don't accept that in your head someone might say no. Just go try it first. And if they say no, go over here. If they say no, go over here. Keep doing circles because you know how many people said no to me? Mm-mm. You know how many people said you can't do what you're doing? I had a best friend tell me, Dee Dee, they're not going to come to you. I was like, really? They're not going to do the one-hour thing. I was like, I'm not going to. No, they will. If I make it happen, they will. No, Dee Dee, you're not going to be successful. I had another person. No, Dee Dee, you require way too many vaccinations. They're not going to come to you. Really? Because I require vaccinations, you think no one wants to come? Really? No, don't accept no. There's enough people in this world to do business with many others. You know what I'm saying? There's enough. And if that client isn't for you, not every client's going to be for you in the way you're doing business. So if that client's not for you, this client may be, okay? There's, there's enough business. All right, let me finish this because I think the, the client's here. She says, I thought, what the heck? I can only be rejected. Not me. Thanks to you, I passed my level two city and guilds dog grooming diploma. I am now a qualified assistant and loving it. I'm hoping to carry on and do my level three this summer to become a fully fledged professional groomer. You gave me the inspiration, Dee Dee. Thank you so very much. I will be I will always be grateful to you for do for going out there and giving such confidence to people like myself. Well done. And she's in the UK. So Joanna, thank you so much. I'm so proud of you. I emailed her and let her know. I'm so proud of her accomplishments and what she's doing. And she went from homeless last year to stepping it up and getting her two city and guild dog grooming diploma. Wow, that's awesome. So those of you guys who are putting effort into your education, I applaud you for that. And it looks like our client's here, so let me kind of wrap up a few things, and then we'll get started. We'll see you in just a minute, and thanks all for your contributions and becoming members. I appreciate you. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, man, are you out there? Yeah, here. Oh, don't worry. I've got it. Those will come. Those will brush right out. There's a bunch out there still, huh? Does what now? Make it work real easy. Of course. Oh. Are we doing our normal stuff? Uh -huh. We were early last time, so if you a little longer. We were a week early. Last time? Okay, so we're a little uh, little off like that. That's okay. Or so I turned my head down here. Okay. What do you come over here and do? Trish leg? That's hilarious. Okay, so we're going to do four guard all over anyway. So we'll do this too. Alright. Come on, girl. There's no storms today. <laughs> Man, that was a tough day for me. Don't you know? freaking out. 
all the dogs that day were freaking out. That's and right. then when uh, midday, I was like, oh, it, I, it, I really came into it. I was like, oh, it's the storm. Everybody was jumping on my back that day. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Sounds good. Guys, going to go run an errand. Hey, girl. What's up, girl? Uh, I bathed her Sunday and brushed her out. She does have cockle this, burrs everywhere. Brushed her out this morning. But okay. Now I've got cockle burrs. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. See you in a while. Okie dokie. Are you going to lay like that? I'll just bring this down there. We'll do a mulch your body first. Okay. Hey. Would you mulch your body stuff first? We're doing a four guard all over. Okay, well. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so this is what you call a pancake. Pancake, she's doing a pancake. That's fine, just do everything else you need to do first. So we'll do a four guard all over. Mind you, any dog can jump off the table, so keep that in mind, okay? So I still got her clips in here. Give me a little bit of leverage. Because, you know, as a groomer, you're using both your hands. You need something up there. Some folks uh, think the dog up stand's made to be under there 100% of the time. No, I don't think so. Just use it where you need to. Because I don't need her to stand up to do her back, you know what I'm saying? Get everything you can here. Yeah, there you go. You want to roll and give me that leg there? That's fine. Super cute, but man, it's not easy grooming a dog that's got their weight all the way down. But we'll get her to stand up here in a few minutes. doing girl <laughs> let me double check what we do on your head since you're laying down I could probably do some of your head I, mean, I don't even know what I'm talking about looks like we do a seven all over hold on here oh we do a seven all over good lord four guard teddy bear head down okay well we even go shorter than that so we'll have to come back with the seven here. So down is this way. And keep in mind, each person talks the way they want to talk about how they do their work. So this is the way I kind of speak about what I'm doing, okay? Not all groomers are going to use the same verbiage. See, that's why you have to be real clear. I want the dog short. What is short? Tell me in length, like inches, you know what I mean?
many of you guys knew that I was supposed to go shorter? Do you guys recall what we did? Did you guys recall? Who, how many? Anybody? So this is a seven all over. Instead of what I was using a four guard. So get your seven out here. Man, this blade brush, I use it every day. All day long, don't I? And same thing with my broom. There's a few tools you use every day, all day. You don't realize it until you start paying attention, like how often you're doing something. Face mask. Basically, on my face, the time, the time you start grooming. Okay, here we go. Let me come down seven here. scoot you over a little bit here. I know you don't want to, but you gotta get quick in. Knows what's in the blue can? Who can answer that question? Nope, not air. Keep going. I know there's a groomer out there that knows who's in, what's in the blue uh, can. Blue and white can, actually. All right, we're going to do, I'm going to switch out to another seven here. Some good stuff. <laughs> Thank you, Sue. Exactly right. Make sure you guys have your own um, disinfectant. If you need some, please go get some on myfavoritegroomer.com. And barbers have it, and groomers should have it. Well, most groomers do have it. It's actually a coolant as well if you want to use that. So there's a video we did on cooling your blades. So for this baby, we've got to get our dog up stand. Those of you guys who have your dog up stand and your dog up mini, this is where you can use both because she's going to be a pancake. That means she may need some more support on her chest. So we're going to have her come up here. She's not wanting to stand up. But you got to do the legs and feet. She has to stand, right? She was out there walking around. So it's not about not wanting to stand up. Like in her case, she doesn't have a disability. No, no, no. She's fine. Now, she has double support here. 
I'm gonna lower this just a tad. Good. Are you okay now? So those of you guys, some of them, some people have talked to me about their dog mini being too small. This is where you get away with being able to use both. Still got our seven. So our uh, second seven. I changed it because uh, just kind of keeping it cool here. She's trying to move off, but I've got that strap on, so it is helping her just stay. It's tugging a little bit, so she's like, oh, I guess I'm going to stay right here. Don't go anywhere yet. I'm trying to move off of there. There we go. Let me see. Maybe if I had you looking up, it'd be in a better situation. Let me see. Look up. Can you look up? Look up. Look up. Mm. She's totally off the dog up stand. <laughs> Thank you so much. Just another person. Okay. I'm trying to get off of there. Are you slipping around a little bit? Come in and do your 40 feet. So switch out to your 40 blade, you just do the pads, and then we'll go to the back, I think. Don't go nowhere. have her laying down to do the feet, you know what I'm saying? I know you may not agree. You gotta let me have this paw here. No, I know you're gonna get out of that, but that's okay. But you're gonna have to give me this paw here.
Set the set, set the set, set the set, set the set. No, not yet. Okay, I'm going to come back to a chin blade and do her tummy now and her thing and teary. Could you stand up for me? Up, 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 up. Not really, right? Okay. Sometimes don't want to do that. Stand up, we're just going to come at it like this then. You can tell like that pop, her whole body weight is that she doesn't want to stand up. So some dogs are just throwing themselves at you. She's cleaning that whole tummy out so she can lay down. And it's super hot here. Okay, we're good there. And let's do the nails next. Boy, I got a nice little nail video for you guys that was happened yesterday. Coming out soon, man. Two nails were grown into the dog's body yesterday. Two on the same dog. It was just so sad. Check your dog's nails. See this? All right, here we go. I rarely use ear powder. It's probably because I use hemostats more so. So just a tad bit in there. You just use your little tiny bit of pluck, pluck, pluck with your fingertips. The ear powder just helps you get a grip. Little by little there. Nice, nice and clean. Baker, I think we got like three members. What's up, Callie? I think we got like three members today, huh? At least so far. I think I heard some pinging like crazy. Change the left hand if you have to. Feeling real good with this. Remember yesterday? That was that dog did not like his ears plucked, huh? Yeah, that's cool. Nakia, what's up? My super fans are always out there, man. <laughs> Behind the scenes, you know what I mean? They're always there. Supportive. Appreciate you, Callie. Okay. It's a bad position for my bra, isn't it? Speaking of bras, I went through like 10 bras in like three months because so much hair is accumulated in it. Just go get the cheapest bras you can if you're a groomer, man. They're not going to last very long. Okay, let's go to the bath. You got the bath, Nikki? Yeah, I got the bath. Alright, boss. Boss. 
across the bath today. Again. Had a bad yesterday too. That's why I said again. walking this is what my opinion stop sit no 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 you're not going nowhere no you're not okay doing all that is just gonna hurt yourself all right just wait there Just wait, wait, wait. No, you don't need to be moving around. Just wait there. All right? Good girl. Now just chill. I still got to wash your face. See? I appreciate it. I got the tear of the shampoo here. No, no, we're not. No, we still have to rinse off. We have to rinse off. Good girl. Good. See? Good girl. Good girl.
me see. There is, let me see. Okay, nice. See how calm she got after I start being like really firm? She got a lot better. Not always though, not always. Okay, 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 hold on. Step, step. Calm. Calm down. Calm down, you're okay. Okay. Well, put your foot down. Don't tell me what to do. Let me see this one. Let me see. Let me squeeze this foot here. Turn sideways. Turn sideways. No, not yet. Not yet. I kind of need you to turn sideways, though. No, turn this way. I know you don't want to, but just stay there a second. No. Where are you going to go? Jumping out of the tub is not going to happen right now. Okay, this is the time you're going to mute your... If you don't want to hear the blow dry, go ahead and hit mute. Get your eye goggles on, make sure you have a mask. If you want the nozzle, you can pick those up. The same thing with the hose at MyFavoriteGroomer.com under the other section.
Okay. Still a little damp, but that's enough. I think that's just enough. I want to stop that. Even though it's not perfect, it's just she's not very cooperative with it. Okay. Let's get back over here. How many of you guys have a cage dryer in your facility? And in this case, this would be a dog you would cage dry. So at some point, do you guys say, hey, that's enough in yourself, in your own salons when you're drying and they're acting a mess, jumping up and down, that kind of thing? The hair dryer is amazing. If you get a fast one, you can see right there, at least I can get the body done quickly, get in and out, in and out. Not dry for an hour, you know what I'm saying? Caterpillar, all those make, um, all those are the reasons why. But the dogs, have you ever washed a dog in a tub and they're standing in the water, right? It makes them stay really wet, doesn't it? All right, we're going to come back with our seven. Do everything all over again. So get your seven blade out. She's super duper soft, but I'm a little kind of, <sighs> this is such a struggle to blow dry. I'm get myself out of the screen. So you can see how a pancake dog, she's just fine. She can stand up just fine, can't she? <laughs> yeah, she, she can. She just doesn't want to.
switch out seven blades to a cooler one. Buy Caterpillar. Little hairs everywhere. If I didn't have my mask, I promise you I'd be breathing that in. Just flying around everywhere. Just kind of looking around, just capturing some stuff. Look at your face, girl. Look at your face. Don't lay down yet. Come on, don't lay down, not just yet. You see? You see? Look up. No, 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 no. Don't lay down. Don't go down. Not yet. Come on now. Here we go. Stand up. back here with our seven. Go reverse a little bit there. Capture little scragglies. All right, now we're going to switch out to our 10 blade and then putting our spore guard on to finish out the head here. So we do four guard down. Reposition the camera here for Makio. Oh, my light went to unplug. Okay. Hey, look at your curly hair. I'm going to do some leave-in conditioner. I'll let you sit down for this. I'm going to do leave-in conditioner here. Here. I'll brush this out a little bit first. subscriber yeah it's been a minute since I've seen one of those is everyone watching subscribe 100 people watching smash the like button hit share 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 on your social media 
Arturo, I've been to Belize. Cool. Okay, don't look at me like that. Some of this is face hair, you see what I'm saying? Some of this is not the ear hair. That's half the problem here. Okay, look forward. We want to brush everything out first, see what we're working with. She did not love the blow dryer, so we were working with the wet hair too, so. It is what it is. Okay. Oh, I'm in here. I'm gonna go ahead and brush these out. Let me get a good look at this. Brush them out and kind of up. I gotta come back there with the tin blade there. If you don't like using your fingers on your brush, use a comb. Clean that out. Brush that back a little bit here. Brush that back a little bit here. Some are really long. Brush them up between the toes and that way it's easier to trim. Okay, go back now. I'm going to do a little bit of this. Leave in conditioner on the coat too. Nice. It'll be silky and it'll dry. That's almost dry already. Ooh. Okay. Now, let's get back with our tin, our tin blade and four guard. And we're going to go down. Taking some stuff out there with it. You want a hand scissor? Go right ahead. Kind of lay that like that. Skin, skin, skin. Come back to the other side on this side here. got to find the bend of the curl and that's where you're going to have less problems when you've got that curly hair. Kind of doing every which way to get that look that I need. Come back now. Go up. Look up. Look up. Look up. Look up. Okay, let's go to the other side now. Trying to give Makio some good facial views here. We'll come clean it up in a minute. Can I get you to look up here? No. Don't fight it. Don't fight it. There. All right, now let's take a look. Did 
shaper brush. This is something I don't use to brush, I use it to shape. I'm gonna do a feet real fast, go around, touch base. <laughs> I know, right, Kyo? He has some seriously curly eyebrows, doesn't he? That was yesterday's live groom. Almost wrapping it up, you guys. During this area right here behind the nub, when I first started grooming, no one told me what to do with that. The hair would be sticking there. I would leave it. I don't know. No one ever said, what do you do with that bush right behind the nub, right? That upper pad. I put a tin back there. Under the nub, do it with a tin, and then you're going to scissor out anything sticking there. So you see just the nub, basically. Like, don't be afraid to just take that completely off. some of this stuff happening around here I can see underneath you're gonna come back with your tin blade okay I mean you could take it with your scissors but some of those areas are like safe areas you want to make sure you it's safe about it safe as me like easy to nick so like I'm gonna go ahead and take my four guard off and come back like the armpit area You see some stragglies. You can sometimes grab it like I did with a little bit with the seven blade, but if you see some thick stuff, just come back with your tin. Some of you guys are real afraid to stretch out the body. If you guys have ever worked with a veterinarian, if you haven't, I suggest you call your local veterinarian and say, can I just come and watch and not say anything? Or can I pay to come watch and not say anything? Because when you are working on an animal, when they do a spay or neuter, they lay the dog on its back completely sprawled out, okay? So if you think that this stretching is bad for the dog, you should see the different ways Dogs are pulled during surgery. And you might be able to see, catch it on Dr. Dr. Pohl. You might be able to see some of that. You have to be able to move the body in a way to do a haircut. Same thing, you have to be able to move the body in a way, a healthy way, to do surgery. Okay, just keep that in mind.
switching back to my seven to clean up some stuff I see back here. She's actually gotten to a point where she's now standing mm -hmm. up on her own, which is great. So I can just move around and do my work. Well, right? You still gotta come fix your face. Okay. Use your shaper brush. Here. Is it, David? I might have already handled it. Did? Yeah, what about it? Yeah, uh, well, we updated the address, so I'm hoping. I'm waiting for a confirmation from uh, email from Virginia. Okay. We tell, Get her number and we can call her back. Yeah, it's been updated, but uh, I'm Let gonna me call uh, the company up there. Did it get, did it, she get a tracking number yet? Did she get a tracking number yet? I have the email address. I mean, I have her mailing address. You're wasting time. Just get on the phone. Okay. It has been corrected, but is there a tracking number yet? Yes. There is? Yes. And where's that? Can you click on the tracking number to see where it's going? Then that means it hasn't been shipped yet? The labels, okay, so can we get on the phone? Yeah. You can come push mute and then get them on the speakerphone and I'll talk to them. Where's the other one though? Sir? Is this it? This one. It, it's either or. This one works too? Yeah. What do you mean either or? You didn't say that earlier. Use the other one. Yeah. This one? Yeah. I think the one I just clicked on is the computer. Oh. Actually. So you clicked on the wrong one? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
All right, let me see here. We're almost done, Dad. I hear him out there. He walked in. Are you watching on YouTube? So I'm using a seven here. You can come in. My hair in the eye, I don't like that. I try to get it out of there while I'm grooming, but sometimes it doesn't work. Kind of squared up here, but that's her physical body. <laughs> that's her body right there, huh? Yeah. Let's see if I can kind of. Looking down is real hard. I'll stop. Look this way. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. Okay. Got to hold that chin here, okay? You got to have some kind of control here. Keep looking over here. Still a little damp there, and that's why we got that little it, bit of curl sticking up still. You don't want to keep going. You keep going, take everything off anyway. Okay. Might as well go and take the tin blade down there. Sure you squat yourself. Oh, 
Hold that ear. What are you doing? What are you doing? It's all quiet, isn't it? Oh, you're so soft, girl. Yeah, you're so soft. What are you smelling? Hmm, what are you smelling? Thick in here, isn't it? All right. Can I get you some cologne? There you go. Some rainforest cologne, a couple squirts here. We'll be right back.
Okay, you guys, we're about to wrap it up. Thanks a lot for hanging out with us today. I just got done talking to Dad. He was really happy with the haircut. And, you know, when you come in your first time with me, we kind of start to try it. I tell you, if you like it, I want you to set up the whole year, okay? If you don't like it, then obviously you don't set up for the whole year, and that's okay, too. Or if you can't set up for the whole year, the next time you call to get in, it might be a month or two months to get in. So, Terry is the dad of this pet parent. Uh, this pet parent's dad is Terry. And Terry's like, he just told me, he said, okay, so when he set up for the year, there's going to be some hit or miss on being exactly at like eight weeks, right? So we did it. We did a trial. We did a two month and then we did a three month and then we set up two month every two months for the rest of the year. Now he said, Didi, you know, I'm able to kind of groom her myself in between. He has to cut this area in between and he has his own clippers. So he's able to do sanitary. So he said, you know, this stretch that we had, it was a week longer and he was able to do that such thing. And I said, well, did you want me to take her face down even more? And he goes, no, no, it's okay. But this next stretch, I won't see him until August. And I said, wow, she's going to be really hairy then. And to me, they're not really that hairy, right? So the pet parents like, I want this short. So it's interesting what pet parents like, right? We all have different wants and needs for our pets. But keeping her down at that seven makes it like very manageable for the pet parent at home, especially if you have to do some light trimming and stuff like that. He's like, oh no, she does really good with me doing sanitary and the face. And this is a grown man, you know? So I said, wow, it's really cool to see that you are a man and you are loving your dog and you take care of your dog. And he goes, well, you know, my wife won't do it. <laughs> And that just makes me laugh because, it, you know, there's different dynamics to relationships and we're all different people. So there's a lot of you women out there taking care of your own dogs, but there's also a lot of you men out there taking care of your own dogs. It's not always the same gender doing what you think is going to be doing. So those of you taking care of your dogs, I applaud you. It does take extra work and time and devotion to really brushing, checking the nails, you know, do it, checking the teeth, checking the ears, being involved with your dogs whole physique and grooming. So good job with that. I know it's difficult. I'm glad I'm here for you with the questions, answering them for you and stuff like that. Please support us by shopping at myfavoritegroomer.com and pick up your dog upstand at dogupstand.com. Those of you guys today who listened to all the kind of mail that I got, thanks for hanging out. I think it was like 50 of you by the time I got done with reading all the mail. So if you missed earlier live session, now you can rewind now that we're done with the live feed. You'll be able to rewind and go check it out. I really appreciate you guys sharing my world with me and sharing the work I do live on YouTube. I think I'm one of the only live YouTube groomers out there. So you being here means a lot to me and sharing and liking and subscribing and hitting the bell on every video really helps us grow and help other people, whether it's in Texas or across the world. So be sure to share and like every video and watch those ads for us. All right. And we are out of here. So have a great day and we will see you next time when we go live. Check us out at myfavoritegroomer.com. Check us out on Facebook. We're like everywhere, all social media. So make sure you add us on all your social media. We'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.